uh, the board, as has been said earlier, is focusing on equipping all our ports with the most modern equipment in line with our vision of becoming world-class ports of choice. And to be that, we need the best equipment, and we thank the government of Kenya for having facilitated uh, the building of LAMU and the equipping uh, of LAMU to enable LAMU to function optimally. Uh, you may recall that, um, as has been said by the, uh, the speaker, Edward Kamau, uh, we are committed to equipping LAMU to make it full functional and uh, we are uh, planning and the board has already authorized uh, the acquisition of additional equipment to make LAMU uh, more efficient. Uh, in this regard, uh, we are expecting an additional uh, three mobile harbor cranes uh, for LAMU, uh, so that in the end we'll have five uh, mobile harbor cranes. We are also progressing plans uh, to purchase uh, three ship to show gantry cranes three rubber tired gantry cranes and four terminal uh, attractors for that port. With that type of equipment, uh, LAMU now will be able to uh, perform its role as a transshipment port and also as a hub for a transshipment business uh, in this uh, country. Uh, as has been said, we are also investing in uh, uh, rehabilitating the ports in, uh, in Kisumu and of course uh, building uh, Shimoni uh, as uh, uh, a fishing port. But more importantly, at least for the board, is the development of the Dongokundu uh, Special Economic Zone. This development will be a game changer in terms of the economic uh, activity for this region. The number of people who will be uh, gaining uh, from the uh, Dongokundu Special Economic Zone, uh, in particular, uh, employment to the youth uh, will be tremendous. Uh, people tend to focus on KPA as the, the, the hub of economic activity in, in the coast, but uh, really, in, in the real terms and in the long term, the Dongokundu special economic zone with the most important development for the economy of uh, Mombasa and the coast. The acquisition of the new tugboat is uh, part of KPA's development agenda grounded on a detailed strategic plan roadmap that guides us uh, to anticipate the emerging industry needs of the future based on marine uh, trade trends and market uh, needs. Out of this strategy was a need to develop a second commercial port in Lamu. The port of Lamu has been operational since May last year, following the operationalization of the first buds. Buds 2 and 3 uh, have subsequently been completed, making the port one of the most uh, modern infrastructure projects in the continent, with three expansive buds, each with a depth of 17.5 meters and a length of 400 meters uh, at each bud. We have embarked on a robust equipping of this facility to maximize its operational capabilities. Thus, the delivery of uh, this uh, tugboat, that's MB Pater, is part of the uh, Port of Lamu's Marine Vessels Fleet, which will exclusively offer target services for vessels calling the Port of Lamu. With the planned commissioning of MB Uhuru 2, we are optimistic that the volumes at the Port of Mombasa will increase markedly as a, as a result. We are also looking to expand other small ports like Sio and Shimoni Port in Kuala. Shimoni Port is being developed as the first fishing port in the country that will support the blue economy agenda and contribute to value addition in fish processing in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wish to appreciate uh, the Board of Kenya Ports Authority for its uh, continued support in facilitating management in support of these initiatives. I also wish to thank Med Marine and the Kenya Shipyard Limited, who have been our partners all through. We are optimistic that this new equipment will contribute to the efficiency and productivity of 
our facilities to remain firmly ahead in the region.